Hey folks, today we're going to take a little bit of time to talk about measurements and how we use them in science. The first measurement we're interested in is distance. Distance is how far apart two things are. Mostly we're going to use the metric system. We'll talk about meters, millimeters, centimeters, kilometers. Um, sometimes we use other units. Aaron Rodgers measures his passing stats in yards. Our cars mostly measure our distances in miles. The red bar that you see on the screen is one meter, or as close to one meter as I can make it. If anyone ever asks how many DVD cases lined end to end will cover one meter, you'll know to say seven. Area, on the other hand, is the space inside a boundary. The blue shape that you see on the screen is one square meter. While I'm talking to you, you can uh, see if you can figure out how many chickens fit in one square meter. Little difficult because they keep moving. Wood County has an area of 2,095 square kilometers. You want a fun math challenge? Find out how many chickens could fit into Wood County. A much simpler calculation would be to calculate area. If you multiply length times width, you'll get the area. 20 centimeters times 4 centimeters is going to give us 80 centimeters squared. Volume can be looked at two ways. Dry volume, the green squares, we have cubic meters. If you're familiar with being around a farm, two bales of straw fit comfortably into one cubic meter. Uh, a lawnmower fits comfortably into a cubic meter. For those of you who like soda, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with what a two liter bottle of soda looks like. Liquids are often measured in liters. Some simple calculations for volume would be to multiply length times width times height, if we're dealing with a box. 10 centimeters, 2 centimeters, 3 centimeters multiplied together gives us 60 centimeters cubed. But it turns out that not everything is a nice box. In another video, I'm going to show you how to use displacement to find um, volume. But just to kind of whet your appetite, get it, I will tell you that displacement simply means pushing water out of the way. If you've ever been one of those really good kids that helped do the dishes, I'm willing to bet that at some point the sink has gotten full of water, you've put that last pan in, and water got pushed out of the way and onto the floor. Two things you need to know. You've just played around with displacement. And second, you're pretty awesome for doing the dishes. Keep up the good work. Mass is a measure of matter, how much matter something has. It is often used interchangeably with the word weight, and for our purposes, we're okay with that. I can hear people screaming across the continent already. Put your, uh, put your comments, polite please, below the video, and we can talk about it. But for our purposes, mass and weight are going to be used interchangeably. Here's the difference. If you travel to another planet, your mass is going to stay the same. However, your weight, the attraction from gravity, is going to change because different objects have different amount of gravity. Even the products we buy, like that package of navy beans, lists weight and mass right there. Now, on Earth, that works perfectly. If, and I know some of you are going to do this, if you take navy beans to Mars, the weight's going to change, the mass isn't. But as long as your navy beans are here on Earth, that's pretty darn close. How do we find mass? Well, most often we use balances, and in this case, digital balances. This bathroom scale measures in pounds. 24.8 pounds is how it's measuring my 25 pounds of weight. On the underside of most digital scales is a switch that can switch over to kilograms. In this case, we get 11.3 kilograms. These are close. It's not a precise scale. It's a bathroom scale. Now, let's figure out what we remember. For each of these five self-check questions, if you need to pause for a moment, do so because the next slide is going to have the answer. If you have a soda, you're going to go buy a soda or something, is soda sold by distance, area, volume, or mass? And yes, it is that easy. Soda is sold by volume. How about buying screws? Which measurement are you going to need to understand in order to buy the correct screws? The answer, of course, is distance. 
In this case, the distance is a length. Length is one of the distance measures. If you're buying gasoline, what unit are you going to need to understand? What measurement are you going to understand? You're going to need to understand the measurement of volume. Five gallons of gas, approximately 20 liters. Okay, those were easy, I'll admit it. Um, let's take a look at a few that maybe take a little bit more work. If you have a box that measures 10 centimeters by 5 centimeters by 4 centimeters, what's its volume? Length times width times height? Again, use the pause button if you need just a little bit of time. 10 centimeters times 5 centimeters times 4 centimeters is 200 centimeters cubed. Notice we multiplied centimeters three times, so our unit is centimeters with a superscripted three. And finally, the area of a rectangle that measures 10 centimeters by 5 centimeters. Length times width. Pause the button, pause the video if you need it. 10 centimeters by 5 centimeters is 50 centimeters squared. We've multiplied centimeters twice, so our unit is centimeters with a superscripted 2. All right, that wasn't so bad. That's all I got for you right now. Please turn off your computer and go play in the woods. Talk to you later.